In this demo, we will showcase how to deploy a Quay container registry on OpenShift using the Quay operator. By leveraging the Kubernetes operator pattern, Quay can be deployed and managed in a cloud provider-like experience. This demo takes place on a freshly provisioned OCP 4.6 cluster. Quay requires a cloud-based object storage solution in order to persist container blob layers. By default, the Quay operator will consume the object bucket claim resource, which is a Kubernetes API extension behaving similar to the native persistent volume claim API. On OpenShift, the object bucket claim API is provided by the OpenShift container storage operator, so we need to ensure this operator is installed. After the OCS operator is installed, we create a Nuba instance, which initializes an object storage service for our Quay to use. Ensure that the Nuba instance is in the ready phase before continuing. Let's create a new namespace for the operator to be installed in. We'll call ours Quay Enterprise. That's the last of our prerequisite steps. Now we can install the Quay operator from the Operator Hub UI. Search for Quay and select the option to install in your Quay Enterprise namespace. Once the operator is installed, we can proceed to the detail view. The Quay operator, like all operators, extends the Kubernetes API using custom resource definitions to give users the ability to create, manage, and delete full Quay deployments as a service, similar to the experience you would have when using a cloud provider. In the case of the Quay operator, it only has a single API resource, called Quay Registry. A Quay Registry corresponds one-to-one -one with a full Quay deployment. Let's create one now. By default, you can create a Quay re Registry with a completely empty spec block which the operator will interpret as an intention to create a Quay installation with all components managed. We can monitor the deployment status by looking at the status block of the Quay registry. This will show a couple different conditions, and when completed, give us the URL of our container registry so that we can use the UI and begin pushing and pulling images, among the other features of Quay. After a few minutes, the Quay operator has successfully reconciled our Quay registry instance, and the application is ready to be used. We can access the Quay UI using the registry endpoint field in the status block. Quay starts up with no users, so we'll need to create one. Now that we've created a user, let's log in using our Docker client. Note that I've already added this registry host to the Docker daemon's configurations insecure registries, because it is using self-signed TLS certificates. So you will need to either do that for yourself or ensure your system trusts the certificates that are being used by Quay. Let's push a simple image to our registry to confirm that everything is working.
Now we can check the Quay UI and see that a new repository has been created and our container image has been pushed. We can also see that Cl the Clare security scanner we included as a managed component of Quay has successfully scanned the image and reported no known vulnerabilities. This has been a quick look at deploying a fully managed Quay container registry on OpenShift using the new Quay operator. In other videos, we will demonstrate how to configure Quay to use externally managed components like an existing database, as well as common day two operations like modifying Quay's configuration. Thanks for watching.